Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, hope you subscribe and stick around for more. Today we are doing a budget kitchen renovation makeover kind of thing. So we're not gonna go crazy with the like, you know, cause I'm poor, I just bought a house. I'm poor as like, you know. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically just do a few little touch ups to the kitchen. There are a few things wrong with this picture right now. This, this, this weird, very orange frame needs to go that that has to be gone that orange ceiling what who puts it, the floor on the ceiling it's it's a big confusing mess that's disappearing i'm gonna hopefully get a new light fitting and then these tiles can we just take a second why are they mirrors i hate them oh yeah and then obviously over here i say obviously okay excuse all the mess okay <laughs> but uh like what is this what what is happening? It's just it's all a big mess, really. Everything's just gonna look a billion times better than what it is. It's gonna be fun. We have a few problems today. We have some sandpaper. Now this says eighty and it's medium, so I'm gonna assume that's the right thing that I'm doing. I but it says general purpose sandpaper sheets, and it look it looks fine. The person's doing it, and then this sandpaper thing because I thought this would make sense on the ceiling, so we get like an even. We're not exactly DIY kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we should be trusted to do this. We should, this should be illegal. Okay, so we're going to use these anyway and we're going to sand everything down first. Prepping the surface. Yes, we're prepping. See, we, we know what we're doing. This is front tape. Now, Kyle's going to skip masking tape, but I've seen his masking tape and skills. It's not happening. So we've got some frog tape and that's just going to like mask off the walls and then like there's like countertops and things like that. So that way we're extra safe because we just know, we know our limits. We know that we're not that good. Get yourself some frog tape. Painting holder paint parts things. So these are obviously just to hold paint and stuff. So we've got these little bucket things. I don't really know why we bought them, but. Just to put paint in. To put paint in. I have a paint. Okay, it's fine. Then we've got a few brushes, different types, and then we've got a roller. I've got the right stuff, so. What could go wrong? That's it. I mean, we've got the tools to just. The skill. And then obviously the most important part of the whole thing. This is brilliant white in satin, because obviously a bit of shine never hurt anybody. And this is durable paint for cabinets, furniture, tiles, floors, and radiators, and it's self-priming. This was from being q Apply this and we should we should be like well away. I feel like I feel like it's gonna work. I think it will. And then find my and then this little brow pen thing, and that's I, I this is easy. You can't really go wrong. I, mean, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, I trust you. Water resistant. Yeah. So far, we're under 100 pounds, so. Oh, oh. And we also bought some uh, cleaning spirit for the brushes afterwards because, you know, we use them for other future DIY projects that we're obviously gonna be very capable of doing. Let's do this. Are you an idiot? Okay. We are, we're, we're getting there, you know, we're, we're getting stuff done. We've taken off this whole sort of tiley bit, but we're trying to keep this little metal bit. Mm -hmm. So then it looks kind of like we've, you know, got expensive tiles and hopefully that'll look good. This gross bit is all going to be completely destroyed and hopefully completely painted. We're going to try and keep these little chromey bits, but... The sanding, oh my god. Who knew how annoying sanding could be? Like, I didn't even know it could be that hard until we started doing it and now... I mean, it looks good though, you know. I like think it's good enough. Was. We're going to start painting now. Oh my goodness, it's so white. Yeah, look at this bad boy. Oh my god, that's nice. How many coats do you reckon I'm free? Maybe two. Give us a paintbrush. Time lapse. Okay, so we have done the first layer 
of pain. I am absolutely covered in pain. I am obviously a very bad painter, but that's okay. The first layer is looking pretty good, you know. It's gone on well. I think it's gonna need maybe just one more coat, which is really good. And then I think I'm gonna start doing the tiles. But just look. It's beautiful. It's so, it just looks so much more open and clean. Amazing. Unbelievable. I've applied the second coat and do. I might as well just be a painter now. I am just the most amazing painter I've ever seen in my life. This looks... My right arm is exceptionally stronger than my left now. This one could lift like 50 kilos and the other one could lift like two. They look so bad right now, but I'm just really hoping that if we just keep going, that it will just like slowly get better. But and if not, we'll just have to accept that we're gonna buy a new kitchen before a bathroom. Yeah. I need to do the ceiling now, and I'm like dying inside because there's so much to do, and it's like draining. But it's fine. So I just need to do the ceiling. I might do one more coat on the tiles. Obviously, they're still a bit wet. But like they look a lot better. This this horrendous ceiling, it just needs to go. I just don't know if I have enough in me to do it today. But then I feel like if I don't do it today, I will never do it because I'm already a mess. So it just makes sense to carry on. I don't even know if I've got enough paint. Have I got enough paint? Where's my paint? Mm, if I don't do any more coats anywhere else, I think that will make it. Okay. I'm gonna do the ceiling, I'm just gonna do it. Ooh. Obviously I've started painting. I didn't want to record it because I had no idea how I was gonna start painting it because as you can see, I could just about reach. So this is kind of how I'm doing it. Didn't judge my technique, it's it's kind of working. But now I've realized how yellow the clothing is and I don't know if you can paint over that. So it's just all starting to get a bit out of control because everything's gonna end up white at this rate. <laughs> I'm so out of breath, I'm so bored with everything, but I just I want to get it done now, you know. I can't once you start one job, you can't just the strips stop. loads are on those top. Okay, just point out my flaws, don't worry about it. It's just not there, it doesn't exist. It got a little bit hot, maybe. Kai's gonna go out now and he's gonna go get the part for the sink because that other bit did not fit, so I have to do it all over again, like how gross that is. That, that should be blurred, that's disgusting. <laughs> is this is exhausting and I know I'm not going to lift my arms for it. Okay, this is exhausting. Okay, lucky for us, we get a new light because I think I've painted over this about a million times. Be positive, I am the best painter, I can do this. An artist, a decorator, a homemaker, a something. I'm exhausted. Full of beans, full of green beans. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm saying it. Just you no, know, it's moments like this that I wish I just had lots and lots of money to just do, pay someone to do this. Just pay for a new ceiling, that would have been ideal. My, my goal is to buy a ceiling that doesn't have wood panels on it. Who even put wood panels on this? That was my question. Who, whose idea was that? Stupid idea is what it was. I need to know this. Is, has anybody else got wood paneling on their ceiling or is that seriously just this house? Whose idea was this? It was a stupid idea. Stupid. And also, I, bro I broke it. Yeah. Oops. I might actually just take that off. I don't really like it. I'm gonna have a break. I'm gonna unscrew these. I'm kind of hoping that it's attached to this and then that will all come out. Okay. Do not, oh my god, I just pulled the cupboard off. <laughs> Well, that wasn't meant to happen. I'm gonna get enough screw and screw that in. Who even leaves me alone? Oh my god, that was the most dangerous thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can put this in a video. That is dangerous. Sometimes I just wonder how like I like get on with life. That was the most dangerous thing I think I've ever done in my life. Look at my 
arms like jelly. So the grill is going on. Oh my goodness, this technique, Kai, what is happening? Oh, oh wow, okay, okay, cool. So that should hopefully like just fill in. Oh, you've done the whole thing. I'm impressed. I, I walked away for far too long. No, if you look at it compared to that one. Oh yeah, it's like a before <coughs> and then an after. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I trust you. Oh, um, we got some wood glue to finally fix this that somebody broke earlier and uh, we got some reinforcement for this one as well because we need some on that one. Um, and then, yeah, we should be pretty good. The light is on its way. So as soon as the light's on, yeah, looking good, right? Right, Kai, right? Looking good. Right? Let me just show you guys straight away, okay? Because it, there's no good me just talking about it. You need to see the results. They are unbelievable. Let me just show you. Let me just let me just show you what's happening. Da 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 da. My beautiful singing presentation voice. So but look. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. She is green, white. She's clean. She's beautiful. That that's what it is. We are finally done and oh my goodness we have a beautiful white ceiling floor now because it was a wooden brown ceiling floor but this looks way more discreet. We have painted the coven all white now, the door frame is white, this weird border is now white. We've also painted the dining room so it does sell out a little bit more which is beautiful. We've also painted those disgusting mirror tiles which I told you guys from the beginning what were they but we have painted them very nicely now. I mean they are perfect. I will be completely honest with you. I mean you can see here there's a little bit of smudging but this side looks pretty looks pretty cute you know we're doing well. It was absolutely awful it, it it was not cute okay but we have added this gorgeous green color and added a few plants to accessorize make it feel a little bit more beautiful a bit more homey and oh my goodness this green color is absolutely gorgeous this is from being cute as well so we just accessorize with a few things we have a fruit bowl with a single apple in it because we don't have a lot of fruit in this house because i like to put everything in the fridge and kai likes to eat it at room temperature and that makes me feel awful on the inside when i think about it but we're okay over here we have a adorable Horrible kettle so me and Kai got this we saw one on John Lewis which was like 79 pound I was like no 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 I cannot justify spending that much on a kettle so we found one on eBay for I think it was 35 pound I'll put a link in the bio if I can find it but this is so much better and it is so cute we have a white it kind of looks like a jug and I love it because it's so simple elegant I just I'm in love with it and it is like a cork kind of color here and then it is a filter in the top and it kind of pulls out like a jug which is super cute we have this really cute little marble chopping board it is actually a cheese board but i thought it looked really cute when you made a cup of tea on it and put stuff on it so i just thought yeah i'm just gonna add it i'm just gonna put it there because it's cute and with the tiles we have tried to keep that silver bar which has kind of worked pretty well because it kind of looks like it's meant to be there so i'm super happy with it and of course this light we had, okay, so I'm gonna take a little story about this little light. So on Wayfair, I thought it was gonna be way bigger than what it was. And let me just tell you, it's not, but I don't hate it. I think it looks really cute. Let me put it on. It's quite subtle, you know, it lights up the kitchen very nicely, adds a little bit of extraness in there, you know, but it's better than even ones that I had painted all over. We've added these really cute little LED lights. Now they are battery powered, but we have a really cute little remote for them so we can do like a timer on it we can make them brighter or darker and you just go up to them and like if you want to turn it off bam off on i do like a hundred percent and it's just so cute i feel like it's a really simple way to add a little bit extra to your kitchen but this so far i'm, I'm just very pleased with the transformation we have gone from okay, let me put a little insert so you guys can remember this just go back with me so we've gone from that into this beautiful airy white bright kitchen and that green i just feel like that green really breaks up the room we don't just have white on white on white we have white green on white on white on white you know a billion times better than what it was i mean let's be honest not the greatest kitchen you've ever seen but i'm so proud of it okay i don't even care i'm so proud an ice cream van going by Oh, okay, it's still like right outside my house, like tempting me, but it's fine. And that was it. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite part was, because there's about to be a lot of house videos coming your way. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on. Oh my God, I'm ready. And that was it. So let me see you. Bye.